next few minutes I'm going to show you how to create a one-page simulation. I'm going to start by creating a new project and in this one-page simulation I should say that it's going to include sliders and decisions as well as output on the same page. That's the objective. Okay, so let's go ahead and create the one-page simulation here. Just creating a new project. I'll make this public. So now I've got a folder for it or a, a project set up. I'm going to go ahead and go to model and I need to get a model in here. In this case I'm going to use this Vensum model. This a uh, customer migration model. It doesn't really matter what model it is but it has total sales on here, purchase probability, market size as inputs. So let me go to my folder and back to um, Epicenter and drag this in. So now the model is up here. So now I'll go to Interface Builder. When I go to Interface Builder, I'm going to select Turn by Turn Based Simulation. So I'm going to select that on the left. Now I have a bunch of pages that it's presetting for me, but I don't, actually don't want to use those pages in the interface here. So I'm going to get rid of some of these. Um, but I'm going to add a new page um, on the bottom. And what I want to do is add a combination input and output pages. That's what I'm going to select. So hit combination input and output pages. See there's four different designs. There's sliders and inputs on the right side with output on the left. The reverse with sliders and input on the left side, output on the right, and some other combinations of things. This one looks pretty good to me. I'll just select this. It's called combination one. I'll keep that name. Okay, so I've got that in here now. And now what I need to do is link that to the introduction and probably change the name of the introduction page. So let me go to Global Settings, Navigation Settings, and I'm going to delete these other pages, which I'm not going to use. I'm going to change the introduction to Combination 1 and call this my One Page Sim. That's going to be the name of it there. Okay, so I've got that. Let me go ahead and... Um, uh, uh, go from here to the pages and now I can see my one page simulation um, and now I don't need introduction anymore either so I've got it, the one page here actually let me go back and name this I'm going to change the project title here I'll go to header and footer settings change it to one page simulation like that and now I go back I can see it labeled up here um, and uh, you probably already get most of this already but let me go ahead and finish this up I'm going to go ahead and create a line chart here. I'm going to call this, I think it was total sales for my model. I need to add data for it, so I'm going to select total sales here. Uh, that creates the initial graph. I want to create a decision type which is going to be a slider and I'll use from my model uh, purchase probability. And I'll select that variable here. There it is. That's number format in percent. I'll start it at uh, 0.01 percent goes up to 0.2 increment of 0.01 there we go I'll create another one which is going to be a text input which I'll call market size variable market size format thousands and then on the bottom here I want to set the simulate button so I, what I want to do is have it step to the end so every time it runs it's going to step to the end I can use reset to reset it and that should do it. That's enough to get it started. I'll, you know, maybe add something here and say, uh, <laughs> "Welcome to the sim" or something. All right, there we go. Too many exclamation points. There we go. All right, so let me go ahead and save that. I'll preview it and see what it looks like here. I've got it set up. I've got my simulate button down here. I can run it. There's my output. I'll go ahead and hit reset. And you know, now I can change some parameters around. Change this to, you know, 55 million or something simulate again and see the new output. So that's how that works.